Hello again, Voltechies, uh, half scale pin setter update. Um, I got a couple questions about my sweep assembly. I know the last video didn't really show it in great detail, so that is really what the purpose of this video is. Um, I will prefix this, uh, of course, with the. Uh, uh, I will prefix this by saying that, that the materials that I used here are not uh, the final materials. As a matter of fact, they are actually. Um, You'll see some mechanical deficiencies. Uh, one, because I am not a machinist. As a matter of fact, I uh, defer to people much more knowledgeable than I am and uh, rely a lot on the help given by folks at the forum. Um, but with that said, um, here's the sweep. Um, so uh, the sweep itself uh, is just some, some extra scrap wood I had laying around. Um, using these uh, these Simpson tie brackets, actually just these 90 degree brackets, joined into some uh, joined into some like uh, one and a half inch pieces of uh, pretty much of just uh, wood strip. So um, at the core, the sweep is driven by these ball bearing drawer slides, and these uh, drawer slides run the entire length of the lane. So uh, the, the key factor here in determining how far the sweep can travel forward and backward are the length of the drawer slides. And with that said, these are 24 inch drawer slides. So that basically means the sweep can only travel um, the length uh, 24 inches rearward. So keep in mind also that um, the, the sweep also has to have some forward travel uh, distance, at least on the drawer slide, to move upward. It's, it's driven by a single motor, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, so first, the sweep bar right here is, and I'll see if I can zoom out a little bit, sorry. Um, the sweep bar is attached uh, to a pivot point, actually, right here. Um, and this is locked in to the drawer slide with a uh, with a nylon lock nut. And as a matter of fact, if I were to disconnect this uh, drive arm right here, the sweep would actually be able to to pivot freely. So if you hit it with a ball, the sweep would actually just go forward, and the ball would go right through the sweep, and the sweep would just kind of rock back and forth, just kind of teeter. Um, so we have the drawer slide. The sweep is attached to the drawer slide um, through this actual piece of wood here. I had to use a piece of wood in order to countersink the uh, this actual nylon, um, sorry, this actual nylon uh, lock nut and bolt here, so that uh, it would sit flush with the drawer slide. So they're attached this way, and then we'll go to the side view here, and you see we've got a couple of linkages. So if I disconnect this, um, again the sweep will just be able to pivot because that this this linkage right here on both sides actually is what really holds the sweep in place and what actually uh, pulls it rearward and um, the positioning on that is actually kind of key so um, we also so this linkage attaches it to the sweep drive arm and we'll follow it up sweep drive arm is then attached to this cross section which is just some uh, 5 sixteenths uh, I believe um, or sorry, like 5 8 inch uh, uh, zinc bar. You can buy it at Home Depot for about six or seven bucks, maybe. Um, it's attached through some U-bolts um, and then uh, is driven across. That way, we drive from one side. Uh, um, as a matter of fact, the drive linkage is only located on this side. It should pull both sweep arms at the same time. Uh, very similar to something like an A2, and I believe Andy's uh, 8279 pin setter is driving it in a similar fashion. Now, actually driving the sweep here is a uh, is pretty much a uh, windshield wiper motor. Uh, we use these because they're they're inexpensive. They can be driven off of uh, low voltage, and they deliver high torque. Uh, this is actually being driven off of five. I'm probably going to have to up the voltage a little bit. It's uh, the, uh, the sweep is a little slow, um, and um, I believe we've, we've got quite a bit of torque, so we should be good. Um, and uh, it's driven off of the 12 volts, going up this black wire here, actually going up this black wire, and over to the, the chassis and the power distribution unit. Um, this is actually just a, uh, an ATX computer power supply. We'll probably end up going with a dedicated motor drive power supply that can output um, higher current. And we can also, um, and, and that we can also isolate the the logic boards and the electronics uh, from the motor drive to prevent any resets or uh, you know try to limit interference the best we can. 
So uh, with that said, um, I can actually drive the sweep here and I'll show you a little bit about its, uh, about its motion. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to channel uh, right here and um, we'll actually take a look at the sweep drive arm as it, as it goes through. So sweep will go to home position here. See, and you'll notice that as soon as the sweep goes to home, this, uh, this, this entire piece right here rotated about 90 degrees. And as a matter of fact, this roller right here is, um, is going to be a part of a, another add-on here that uh, actually there will be a bar that runs above it and this roller will prevent the sweep from drifting forward whenever it's uh, returning to home position. I'll actually show you that. And we'll go back. Sweep drive arm. So this is a. This is, I'll stop it right there. And so the sweep assembly is now all the way back, or almost all the way back. And this piece right here, we'll notice if the camera will focus. Come on. Okay. And you'll notice the sweep drive arm is is all the way back. And this piece right here is all the way over. I'll get you a, uh, a shot of that in just a second. So the sweep is all the way back. And then again, we rotate the sweep uh, a little bit more actually. So I'll hit the drive button here. See the sweep is then pushed back forward. And again, this is all driven by one motor. So if we push this any farther forward, the sweep will actually raise up. So looking at the sweep arm here, We'll push it back forward and you'll notice the sweep goes back up to home position. I drove it a little bit past so it went back down. Um, so you'll notice that the motor is attached to the sweep linkage with, uh, with basically two linkages actually. It's attached to the sweep drive unit with two linkages. So we have a uh, linkage that comes off of the, uh, of the main drive shaft of the motor and uh, then joins to another linkage which then goes to the sweep drive arm. So this linkage will, let's see, sorry, this camera is terrible. Uh, this linkage will rotate around and then this linkage will actually make sure that the motion delivered to the sweep drive arms is linear. So uh, pretty basic, uh, m you know, mechanical design at least because that's about all I can do. So we'll drive it again here and we'll get it back to home position. We've actually got a sweep jam. I've got to work some of this out. This, uh, these materials are not ideal by any means. Um, so these materials have issues actually. You see they're actually perforated, which allow for quick prototype and design. Um, but the problem is, of course, is there's some play here and that can cause the sweep to jam because everything's not exactly in line. Um, I need to get more lock nuts so I can lock some of this stuff down without it being too tight on the linkages because as a matter of fact with the rotation here, this, uh, the sweep will actually tighten as it goes. Um, so I need to get some lock nuts to be able to, to lock in on that uh, sweep shaft design here. And uh, let's see, the, the, again, um, once this drive bar pushes all the way forward, the sweep will actually return to its home position. So again, um, this is all controlled by one motor and we need the high torque motors because at the end when this sweep bar has to run forward to really push the sweep upward, uh, that requires quite a bit of energy. So uh, because you have to push the, the weight of the sweep up over a very, very uh, small distance. So uh, that's probably where most of the, uh, the torque is required and most of the, uh, most of the energy in the motor. So. We'll pull it down here, and again, sweep can travel. So, so yep, we've got that on the linkages, and then the sweep can travel back, and then again, back up to home position. Very, it's kind of slow because again, we're only running it at five volts, but once I uh, up the current, it should be good. So again, if anyone has any advice, please uh, please forward that along. We'd we'll be swapping out some of these materials for some things that are actually a little bit more um, uh, a little bit more exact, at least, just so there's not so much play um, with these uh, perforated holes here. Um, but I mean, 
the proof of concept is there and that's exactly what it was for so uh, now it's time to go on to revision 2 probably and um, I will probably end up having to weld some of these parts together so there won't be any uh, any play or anything like that but the drawer slides are definitely here to stay I think that the, the pivot design is good um, oh and one last thing of course is uh, if you'll see where the, uh, the drive linkage is we run it onto this sweep assembly and you'll notice though that the pivot point is up here so we're pushing forward below the pivot point which causes the sweep to turn up um, that's a very important factor in this design, and, and thank you very much, uh, I believe Phil or Coaster P, um, by uh, you know actually pretty much letting me steal that design straight up from your pen setter. Um, so actually, I'll show you here in just a second. Show you here if I can get the sweep here. So I'll show you that um, again the pivot point is key here and you'll see that the sweep is kind of slanted coming forward again that's what that roller is going to be for right here there's going to be a board that presses down on this roller until it reaches the end of the sweep track and uh, then will allow the sweep to lift up again that's very similar to coasters design um, so we push forward and again it runs out of track you see as a matter of fact at this point there's it can't travel forward anymore so the top is going to stop but the bottom is still moving causes the sweep to return to home position so yep and that's basically the uh, design I need to make some adjustments here so the sweep can get more lift um, it's kind of uh, kind of low we want it to be about there so that uh, you're not cutting off visibility to any of the pins but uh, just gonna have to uh, modify the travel a little bit so it gets the dead wood back there but a uh, proof of concept is there so if you have any questions drop me a line drop me a PM drop me the comment on the channel and uh, like subscribe all that good stuff because there's more of this coming thank you very much